This light is really blinding me, I don't see anything. I'm uh, at the parking place where you are stopping when you want to go up to Trollshirka, uh, the Trolls Church, which is uh, not far away from Molde. Uh, the thing is, uh, I didn't want to go up there, but um, if you go that way up, then um, before there is a very beautiful forest with a lot of moss, a lot of pine trees. And um, the day today is um, very gloomy and moody and a lot of fog and a lot of rain. So what I want to do is uh, to take some pictures of uh, the forest in that mood. And uh, right now it's raining a lot. So I will wait a little bit until it's uh, stopped to rain and uh, yeah, we will see how it goes. <sighs> Coffee! So good! We have such a ugly day if you want to say. So what I want to try is uh, to take pictures of that forest. I'm on the way up to Trollshirka. Actually I'm not on the way up, I don't want to go up there. Because there's a lot of snow and ice on top there. And I'm not prepared to uh, go up there. I do not have any spikes under my shoes. Uh, probably don't have enough food with me to go up there. I'm uh, not doing this, that is not a uh, wise thing to do. But uh, on the way there you have that forest. A pine tree with a lot of moss on the ground. Very fairy tale very beautiful. And uh, what I want to try is to take pictures in this uh, gloomy atmosphere. So, um, I really got inspired by a really great photograph. His name is uh, Adam Gibbs. I think he's Canadian. Not sure. But uh, his forest pictures are outstandingly good. Uh, if I manage, I will probably here link his channel. Or at least I will put a link in the description. Because uh, if you want to get inspired, then you have to look at what he is doing. Really great photographer. So, and uh, I got inspired by him, and I want to go up there and uh, take some pictures of that forest. Empty. Sad. Really. Muddy here. And it's not not nice to walk here at all. And uh, it is really muddy here. I have to be careful not to slip away. And the ground is really soft. Probably from uh, all the rain and from the snow, which was melting away. Actually, we are in January in Norway and there's no snow. Everywhere where I walk right now should be covered with snow and ice, but it's not. It's really not the weather to go out here. It's not nice. And actually, with all of that rain, I'm uh, really concerned of uh, risking my camera uh, I mean that phone here actually my goal for today is to go into that black hole over there uh, it's a little bit lonely here so actually it's a little bit lonely here and uh, I heard some noises like branches cracking and uh, 
I hope it's just a deer and not uh, something uh... Yeah Could be it's just a wind which is blowing or some branches down from the trees Seriously, it's really scary I don't see anything, but uh, out of that direction I hear all those uh, branches cracking. I really hope it's just the wind in the trees. So what I try to do now is to find a good composition of this wonderful forest. Uh, even if I heard all those noises and it was scary and uh, you have um, this heavy mood basically here right now. I want to really try to find a good composition and it's not that scary actually. Um, as long as there are no animals which want to kill me or so. No. Yeah, so um, my uh, biggest challenge is to find a good composition can be lines, leading lines, which lead to a tree stump or a way into a landscape, or maybe it's just lines of trees will bring uh, depths and uh, aesthetic into the picture. And I think this is the biggest challenge for me now. I'm really not a forest photographer, but uh, today is a really good day to try out some uh, good compositions. and. Uh, like to find some good compositions and uh, this will be a good challenge i'm looking forward to it my idea here is to put that uh, fallen birch tree in the foreground and as a contrast to the rest of the forest. That birch tree will form a diagonal um, uh, leading line and uh, from there it shall lead into the forest which is um, which has different colors like dark trees and uh, also that green moss on the ground. I found, uh, I believe I found a very nice composition here. It's just a detail, it's not the whole forest. And uh, I will show you in a moment what I'm uh, going to do. Um, so basically you have uh, those uh, rocks and maybe tree stumps and all of those things uh, covered in moss and uh, they form a very soft uh, cover yeah they do form a very soft uh, cover on top of those things and uh, as you can see here you have all of those uh, little hills or dunes or what you want to call it and uh, in between you have that that valley or what you want to call it and uh, this one this one will do like will will form the leading line of the picture and uh, at the same time as you can see it is an S curve so I really hope that this composition will work out but I uh, believe that you will find out now, here is the picture. I 
I think it's quite um, challenging to find a composition in a forest which is full with compositions, basically. So the challenge here is to to isolate uh, something that is really good and to take a picture of that. That is, um, in my opinion, a very uh, difficult uh, thing to do. But uh, what I found here, and I hope that works out, as you see, here is that hill, over there you have that line, you have that uh, kind of hill, you have those, like it looks like dunes almost. And uh, what I try to do here is to find a good composition which will integrate each other like those all those little hills and uh, how, all those hills or what you want to call it uh, to integrate into each other into one compositions so my camera is very low and um, I try to to uh, yeah make a composition out of what i see here on the ground yeah now I'm here in the car and um, I did not film anything on the way back. The wind just became uh, crazy. There was so much wind suddenly. It was not like uh, expected. It was like just coming in, kind of. It just became too uh, windy and rainy and uh, I'm back here now in the car. I just want to ask you if you think this was a great video to give it a thumb up. And uh, if it was not a great video, you are very free to give it a thumb down. Also, um, you are very welcome to tell me what uh, can be improved. I'm uh, I'm aware that I'm not a world-class uh, videographer. I just made under 10 videos for YouTube so far. Um, so I'm there's really a lot of room to imp for improvement. So if you have some advice, I'm very open to to learn new things for sure. So, but also if you liked the video and if it was great for you, you also can tell me that. And uh, if you uh, if you have not subscribed yet, then uh, I want to just encourage you to hit the subscribe button uh, because I will definitely shoot more. Uh, videos like that and hopefully become better and improve my video skills in the future thank you for watching and uh, i wish you a very nice day goodbye <laughs>